It's the month of March. And according to my friend Russ Lyman, it's also Mega March. So today's Gaming 5 is going to be about Mega Man's iconic level bosses. That's right, I'm talking about Robot Masters. But not all of them were as cool as Fire Man or Metal Man. In fact, some of them were obvious indicators that the developers had cashed out. So here's my list of five awful Robot Masters for Russ Lyman's Mega March. Let's get this over with. Number one, Bubble Man. Fucking bubbles! From the second installment of Mega Man, which brought us awesome Robot Masters like Metal Man and Flash Man, Mega Man 2 gives us a Robot Master whose main attack is bubbles. Not to mention he looks like in perfect cell after he was run over by a lawnmower. He's actually easy to kill as his bubble attacks are slow to reach you, and if you have Metal Man's Metal Blade power up, you can hack this hack down in a few shots. It was only the second game too. Not like they were running out of ideas at this time. I guess that's what you get when you let the intern's three-year-old create one of your game's bosses. Number two, Sheep Man. By the 10th installment, I'm sure the creators were getting tired and running out of ideas. Enter the electrifying and puffy cloud of regret known as Sheep Man. And let me tell you, he is bad. <laughs> shut up, shut the fuck up. Now, I don't have to impress you. Anyways, he doesn't have much when it comes to attacks, only employing two during your encounter, including turning into four adorable puffy clouds of wool and raining lightning down on Mega Man. Granted, this attack is quite dangerous. You can't get over the fact that he's called Sheep Man. Fucking Sheep Man. Maybe I'm being unfair because action should speak louder than words, but Sheep Man? Sheep Man, like, holy shit. Fucking sheep. Number three, Woodman. Again, from the second installment where developers shouldn't have been running out of ideas by now, we have Woodman. His main attack is what else? Leaves. Yep, big old green leaves. Now, I'm not gonna rag too much on the fact that he's called Woodman, but I am going to rag on the missed opportunity they had with this Robot Master. If they wanted to make a wood type boss, they should have made something like Timberman and make him a burly machine like Gutsman that swings an axe or a chainsaw. Whatever you do, don't do what you just did. By that I mean don't make him look like a fat kid wearing a Halloween costume of a stump. And don't make his attack leaves. Only Pokemon are allowed to get away with that. Number 4. Dustman. Ever want to beat down a glorified Dyson? Well, say hello to Dustman. Why? Because Capcom finally wanted a Robot Master that could actually say sucked, and it not having a negative incantation. But he did just as they programmed it to do, suck. One of his attacks is launching debris at Mega Man, then attempting to suck him in. Honestly, I can't really make fun of this Robot Master's practicality, and it's not like it's a super awful choice like Sheep Man. Oh my god, fucking sheep. Only thing though, is the fact that he's just a big robotic vacuum cleaner, and he's honestly just so boring that he doesn't add up to some of the other masters. I guess it could be worse, but so is being set on fire. Maybe he's on the list because he does literally suck. Okay, enough with the sucking jokes, I'm done. Just one more to go. Number 5. Top Man. What can I say about Top Man, other than he's a child's toy that you get from a pharmacy at last minute for a birthday party. I understand he was designed by Dr. Light and Dr. Wily so he can operate on other planets. But why a Top? How does this play into anything? They even gave him a semi-interesting backstory. You can't do that! You can't make something like Top Man and give him a bullshit backstory to distract from the fact that he's an obsolete plaything. It is hinted it's an auto-balancing system. But again, all he is is a damn top. And what does he do to attack? He shoots tops out of his head. In addition to being a stupid toy, he looks completely ridiculous. Honestly, I'm just padding out the running time by stating the quick and obvious fact. He's a lame robot master with a lame backstory to justify his lame existence. There you have it, the bottom of the barrel. Of course, there were a ton of installments, so if you can think of any other awful robot masters, leave me a comment down below. And a special thanks to Russ Lyman for letting me join in on Mega March. But I'm not the only one, so check out some other videos for Mega March in the description. And I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, give me a like and subscribe. And as always, 
I'll see you in the next video.